I'm going to share an awesome program and tool with you that you can get for free because you are a student or a teacher. You want to go to Lucid Press, L U C I D P R E S S, Lucid Press. So click on lucidpress.com. Any student or teacher can get this free if they have either a .edu email address or a .k12 email address. So sign up with your ag email, and that's a .edu one. It just needs to be an, an edu, and click on sign up for free. You'll be taken to a screen where it'll ask you if you are a student or a teacher. I would suggest using the student one. And then you need to complete your registration here. Put in a password that, uh, that you would desire to use. Then re-enter that password. will complete your res registration. Okay, once that you're in the system, you have a free account with only one gigabyte of space, and uh, you're, you're good to go, but let's get you the pro account for free. So what you need to do is go back to Lucid Press, the home page and you'll see education right here. Click on that and then click on get the free upgrade and then you need to follow these steps. All right, so I'm going to request my upgrade. My role is a student. This is my name. This is my email address, your institution. send the request. In about a day or less, you should get an email from Lucid Press, or even if you don't get one from Lucid Press, you may come back into it and you'll find that this one gigabyte has changed to 20 gigabytes. Okay, I have signed in and you'll notice that I have 20 gigabytes of space and I have already got some things put together here. I'm just going to walk you through how to use Lucid Press to put together a document and save it as a PDF file. So here there are many templates that you can use, business cards, catalogs, even for social media, um, newsletter blanks, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do there. I'm going to just start with a completely blank document. So I'll add a document. It will open up in a new window. And while it's doing that, it will show you a quick tip about using Lucid Press. And now I've I've got a blank document on the screen. Here I can add pages if I want. Uh, so now I have a two-page document, three-page document, and so forth. I can add text. I can add shapes. I can add images. I can add tables, video, buttons, and even scrolling areas. So let's throw together something quickly here. All right. In order to do that, I am just going to pull up one of my websites and I'll just use information from that uh, just to save you some time watching this. So here we go. So let's say I want a title. All right, so I can either come and grab a heading here. If I click on it, that will give me a heading. I can click outside and then move it where I want to move it. Here in the view menu, whoops, here in the view menu, 
you can say I'd like to see the guides and I'd like to see the grid and I'd like to see the margins and so you can you can place this anywhere that you want you'll notice that when you get to certain spots like the center of the page it will try to snap to that and um, I am going to title this one The Basics of Camera Raw. All right, so here we go. Over here on the right side, I can see all of the different settings for my text. Uh, so, for example, I can change it to extra bold. I can change the font if I wish. I can change the size to make it fit the page. And uh, now I'm going to go grab some text. So, let's do some body text. I will just place it right over here and let me have it fill the page and over on the right side here I think I'd like to have it in two columns with a quarter inch buffer so let me go grab some text here Just come back in, double click, and paste it in. All right. And it has flowed into the two. It doesn't want to ever break up a, uh, a URL. But uh, let me show you how to change these into active link. And I will copy it. Then over here on the text, as you scroll down, you'll see a URL link. Just click on that and paste the link in there and press return. You'll see a green check mark come up and now it's a link. Usually we show links in a different color, so I'm going to come here to the color box and make that a dark blue. So in order to make this fit, I can just click my cursor in there and, and press return but that's still linked all right so I'm going to come here and I'll copy this one and again come over to the link and then hit return that is now a link I will turn it blue as as well all right as I go take a look at this I have a, a picture that I would like so I am going to save this image we'll just put it there on the desktop and I'll come back in here the easiest way to place an image is just to come and and drop it on it will upload it you can then move that image wherever you want it to be let's put it about right right there and then we want the text to wrap around it so I'm going to come over here to the layout tab and you'll see text wrapping and I'll turn that on and I can click whichever kind of text wrapping I want and the text will move out of the way. Let's grab this picture. Sometimes it'll actually fill up the whole text box and, and you'll need to drag it in again. But uh, I find if I drag it into a part where a text box isn't, it works all right. And uh, so I will come over to the layout and I'll turn the 
text wrapping on for this one. Okay, here I've got a video. So I'm going to go to the video. and copy its URL. Come back in and I'll click on video and then paste the URL of the video into it and we'll place it right there and turn text wrapping on. Okay, now you'll notice that this little plus sign down here is turned red. That means there's more text in here than this box can show. So on the new page, what I'd like to do is create a new um, a new body text, a piece of text to that page. All right, and I'll drag this out so it covers the whole thing but it still hasn't done anything now here's how you move here's how you link text boxes together so that text flows from one into the other you click on the beginning text box and you'll see a little uh, icon here with an arrow you click and drag and point to the text box that you want it to flow to then that text will flow so now that I have the text flowing, I can continue on with what I'm doing here. I'm going to save this image. And I will drag it in here. You'll notice that my second page does not have columns in it, so I'm going to click on the text box and come back to the text and I'll make it two columns as well. On this, I think I'd like to put a little border on it, so here's my border. I can put like just a one point border around it if I want, and there we go. Some other things that uh, that you can do. I can I can click on the camera raw thing. I can uh, go to the shape section here, and I can say that I would like the fill to be a simple gradient. What color? Well, let's start with a light color and go to a light green and I want it to be angled this direction. All right. You can add a table in easily. It'll automatically snap. You can move the guides if you wish. There's all kinds of table things here that you can do. But basically, it is very easy to use. This is just a quick idea of throwing something together. I think it's so much easier than Microsoft Word. To make a PDF out of this, let's pretend it's done already and I've got it all beautiful and nice and saying what I need it to say. Then I click on download and I would like it as a PDF. I'd like to do all the pages and I'd like it for print. Hit download. It will take a moment and that has come down to my to my download file as a blank print document where I can rename it. And this is what it looks like in, in Adobe Acrobat or Acrobat Reader. Really slick. If I click on a movie, it takes me right in. Um, if I click on a link, 
it takes me right there. It is just a marvelous free tool that you can use as a teacher and that your students can use as well. That is Lucid Press.